Hi everyone, welcome to Robust QA. My name is Abhishek Patel and in today's video I want to show you API testing in Playwright. And for the lesson I'm going to use the GitHub's REST API and I'll show you how to make get, post and delete call on the GitHub's REST API. We'll use this call to create the repository, get the list of all the repository and delete the repository. So first step you will need is to create the token. So in other words, token is just a authentication mechanism. So in other words, if you are logged in using HTTP, like on the web, you provide the username and password, but for API, we will need the token. So you will need to have the GitHub account. If you not, just sign up. And then once you are on the home page, click on your profile picture and go to the settings. And on the settings, on the left down here you will see developer setting click on it and just click on the personal access token and select the tokens don't select the beta just select the tokens once you are on the token tab uh, you will click on the generate new token and also here you will need to click on the classic and not the beta version click on the classic and you will be navigated to this page you will want to select each and every checkbox. I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. And once you are done with it, at the bottom, click on the generate token and you will see the token here. And important thing is that the token will go away when you navigate back. So you will need to copy that token and paste it and put it somewhere because we will need it while making the API call. Here in the VS Code, I have already created this API test.spec.ts uh, module. It's already here. Now um, let's go to the documentation for the API testing in Playwright. So we can use the request fixture. We don't have to use the API request context class because in the request fixture, the underlying class is API request context. So it is more of a facade, so you can use that. Now here is a little bit of setup and we can use the use block. So inside the Playwright config, inside the use block, we can set up the headers and authorization because like I said, we need authorization in order to make the calls to the GitHub REST API. So now let's go back to the VS code again and here in the Playwright config.ts, um, I have already set this up. So we'll need the, uh, first of all, uh, we'll need the header, we'll need, and then we'll need the authorization. So for now, let's not worry about this. So you already copied the token, right? So get that token, and you can either paste that token here, right? So you can paste that token here, or the best way is to create the .env file. This is how uh, you create the env file. Just simply right click and create the file like new file and then just type like .env, .env and then you will have your env file. So I have put this uh, token inside the .env file. Okay, so it is not recommended to hard code your token inside your playwright.config. So I have put this uh, here and in the playwright.config.ts, I'm just calling it as a variable. Okay, now this is the way to call it. So we have to type process.env and the name of the variable. In .env, the name of the variable is API token. So I'm going to type API token. Now, uh, this won't work directly. You will need to download the package called .env. So simply type npm install dot env and make sure you are in the right folder and when you hit enter you will have you will get the dot env package downloaded once you have your dot env package like this the other step is you have to use the module yeah type is equal to module all right and now we are ready to use dot env so that means in other words inside our playwright.config.ts our authorization now can read the variable inside the .env file. Okay, enough. Now, let's uh, make some calls to our GitHub APIs. Okay, so the next step now is we already imported the test and expect from Playwright. 
The second is now we can we have to import dot env from dot env and then we have to use like dot env dot config. So without using this, you cannot use that dot env. Okay. All right. And other last important thing which is not relevant to this video, however, it is important. So in git ignore, make sure you include your dot env file so you don't check in the secrets in your git repository. Okay, now let me start with and instead of page, it will be request. So as I mentioned earlier, we are going to use the request fixture to make the API call. And now we want to create the repository. So now let's go back to the documentation. Okay, so here we have a GitHub's documentation. And now let's uh, quickly go to the repositories and inside the repository we want to create the repository. Create the repository for authenticated user. And uh, here is the example, so we are going to use this. So as you can see, it requires authentic authorization, which we have already, which we are already using in the use block. And then we have the header. I'm going to copy this and go back to VS Code and go back to our playwright.config.ts. And here is the header which uh, I've already used. And the second one is the this one, right? So this is the another one. Let's go back and it's already here. So I'm going to uncomment. And that is all. So we have our headers uh, configured. Now let me go back to API test. Okay, so we have, uh, what do we have now? So we this is the endpoint. I'm going to copy this, go back here. And now um, for the endpoint, uh, I'm going to use a request. And let's see what kind of request it is. It is post request. So request dot post. And then if the first argument is the endpoint, and the second argument is going to be the body. So this is how you can use. So we have to use the data, okay? So now let's use data and within the data, I'm going to copy this. Go back here and paste it here and let's make it a little nice. Remove the curly braces because. So this one, the post one, I think it returns the promise. Yeah, so we have to be like aw await and this is going to return promise and I think I can store inside the variable const R-E-S-P-O-N-S-E -E response. And now what I can do is um, use expect response dot um, okay to be truthy. Just want to make sure once it is created, the response is adequate response. Okay, now let's uh, open our repositories. Um, it's here. Now, as you can see, I just have one repository here. Now let's make a call and see what do we get here. If the call is successful, we should have another repository. Okay, it seems, uh, so the call is successful and let's refresh this and hopefully you'll see another repository. Yep, so we can see the new repository here, hello world. So this is how you make the post request. Other thing I want to show is like, instead of, you know, specifying your, the endpoint here or your main URL here, you can also cut it from here, go to the playwright.config.ts and you can replace your base URL with this, okay? And that should also work. Try to delete the repository. So now test. Braces. Now request dot delete is what we want to use. Now let's see what does the documentation says. 
So now the documentation is about the delete. Let's find out where it is. Delete a repository. And right, okay. So all we need is the this one, okay. Uh, this endpoint. I'm going to copy this and go back here and delete. And uh, since we already have the base URL, I'm going to get rid of this. Yes, so it seems like these are the variable because owner and reports here. So anything under the curly braces is means it's a variable. So I'm going to go back and replace the owner with my username. So let's go back here. My username. Uh, you have to find your username, which is this is the, your username. Okay. So I'm going to copy my username, replace my username, and repo is the one that I want to delete. It's going to be this one. Go back here and then here. Okay, um, we'll remove this. So use await and then I'm going to store the response in the variable await uh, response and response what it does. Status is 204. So I'm going to type response, first of all expect, response dot status dot to be this one run again. Okay, it passed. Now refresh and it should have deleted the repository. Yep, it did. Okay, that's wonderful. Now let's see how to get the, all the list of repository using the get request. This one was post request, this one is delete request. And now let's uh, use test. Now, let's see what does the documentation says. We want to get all the repositories, list repository for a user. So username and repos, so these are the endpoints. Go back and then just type the endpoint. Username, we already know this is our username. the response here and then simply response and I want to print the uh, response the console dot log await response dot I want to print the JSON response cool cool now let's run this and we just have one repository right now so it should print only one repository let's go back okay it did print something on our console and yes so right now it printed the list of repository and as you can see there is just only one object with the name full name hopefully you learned something new uh, in this video I'll uh, see you next time.